two aircraft, two design philosophies, both safe, but one splits the control surface in half, the other just commands fewer actuators. In commercial jets, every major control surface, like the elevator or rudder, needs redundancy. If something fails, you still need to control the aircraft. But Airbus and Boeing solve this problem in totally different ways. On the 737 MAX, the elevators are physically split. Left and right are independent, powered by separate systems. Same with some rudder and spoiler controls. If one side fails hydraulically, the other still works. It's mechanical, simple and robust. Now here's the A320. It uses multiple actuators per surface, sometimes two, sometimes three. But it's the flight control computer that decides which one to use. If an actuator misbehaves, the system isolates it automatically. It's redundancy by logic, not layout. Boeing relies more on physical separation. Airbus leans into software intelligence. Both approaches ensure control in a failure, but Airbus trusts the computer, while Boeing trusts design simplicity. So when someone says they all fly the same, remind them the backup systems don't. One gives you two surfaces, the other gives you three computers, same destination, different code.